I start kicking rocks too. Uh, they, they, they have a number of them. From the community park over here in Santee, it's the SDS Super Cup. And going from left to right is La Jolla Impact. Right to left is Vista Storm in his boys under 11 championship match. Hello again, everybody. I'm Greg G.K. Porter for Langevin Productions uh, with George on the camera from up high, the stadium view. 25-minute halves for both teams. Let's get the lineups for both squads first for the Vista Storm. The keeper is Morgan Calvert. At right mid, number two is Ian Jacobo. Number three at center mid is Antonio Lopez. Number four at midfield is Addison Sorrells. As we are in the box and over the top of the net uh, for La Jolla Impact. Number seven, Anthony Fernandez is defender. Number eight at defender is Jose Lopez. Number 10 at mid or forward is Juan Cueva. 11 at forward or midfield is Nicholas Nordstrom. 12 at forward is uh, Ryler Upchurch. 14 at midfield is Ryan Martinez. 15 at defender is Caleb Ramirez. 16 at forward is Jose Hernandez. 17 at defender or mid is Omar Lopez. And 18 at mid or forward is Mauricio Zarate. For the La Jolla Impact, head coach Josh Connor, team manager Jorge Navarro. The keeper is Alex Strumloff. Number two is Quentin Lowe. Number three is Mitchell Morrison. Number four is Tyler Shapiro. Six is Marco Molina. Seven is Luca Hoffmeister. Eight is Trevor Ace. Nine is Tyler Macwana. 10 is Donovan Todorov, 11 is Kenan Dogan, 12 is Trevor Sebring, 14 is Aaron Navarro, 15 is Dorian Guan, and 41 is Evan Brown. On the near side, and the impact drive it out of play. The Storm out of their own defensive half at midfield, and a long ball sent over in the corner, chasing it down is uh, Hernandez, and it is out of play. So the throw in for La Jolla Impact. And midfield in this championship game, the Impact trying to go forward into the attacking third and driven out of play. Cleared out very quickly by the Storm. As on a move was Luca Hoffmeister. So they'll throw it in from the near side, the all blue with the white numbers. The end of the corner, Hoffmeister makes a move into the 18-yard box on the synthetic surface. He has a teammate who centers it, and trying to get a shot that time was Dorian Glon, and it didn't work out that way, but they still have it in the box with Glon trying to center it to somebody in that 18-yard box, and it's cleared out of there. Still got possession in the attacking third off a deflection now, and the Storm able to win it as they will go upfield. And it goes out of play on the near side. Neil, nil your score. Hopefully you've got your beverage and your snack. And you can enjoy this one from Santee out here in the East County. First time ever Langevin Productions being at this park. And this is a brand new park. Last summer was the induction of this park. Got synthetic surfaces. And also, you've got some grass fields. And 
part of a big, huge part of this is softball fields and baseball fields, which are very, very state of the art like. Now with a uh, free kick is Trevor Sebring. Sebring sending that ball almost to the 18-yard box, but interrupted there by uh, Ryler Upchurch. But they still have it. Sending that ball toward the 18. It was blocked away as getting over there. Nicely done was Jose Lopez. It still winded up over to the keeper, Morgan Calvert, but no problem. Morgan, young lady out there playing keeper for the Vista Storm. Got to throw it in from the far side touchline is La Jolla Impact. Toward the 18 yard box. As they still continue on, and getting over there to apply some defensive pressure was a Hofmeister, and he did a good job of that. Or rather, I should say, that was Jose Lopez who was applying that defensive pressure as Hofmeyer was trying to get that ball in the 18-yard box. Antonio Lopez in the box now and cleared out quickly. Sun's beginning to set in the West on a Memorial Weekend, Sunday. And tomorrow, the big Memorial Day as it is uh, celebrated after the traditional one, which is on the 30th. To throw it in into the corner. Does Mitchell Morrison. Morrison has a strike now. As he struck that ball, you saw the little beads on the synthetic surface come up. And it's a new one. We see the same synthetic surfaces over there at the Las Vegas Mayor's Cup International. But their fields are starting to show some wear signs. And this one, as you can see, it's brand new into the 18 yard box and the offsides call as Jose Hernandez ready to tee it up. We're good shot. In an 18 yard box, a cover makes a save, but another try and it goes wide of frame. Good presence of mind by Morgan Calvert. Come off her line and try to stop their opportunity. Put that ball in the back of the net. In the seal nil match on the near side, Sorrells or Sorrells rather, Addison. He sent that ball in the 18-yard box. It was cleared quickly by the Vista Storm. They have lights here, so even though the sun is setting in the west, they can play night soccer here if need be. With this being a championship and some other ones going on around us, we might not get that opportunity to play any night soccer this evening. Morrison. Into the box now. Macwana back to Morrison. And on the near side, it goes past the goal line. And it's going to be a corner kick. So the first corner kick of the match for La Jolla. Let's see if it'll be an in-swinger or an out-swinger. Over Calvert, and it goes all the way to the other side. 
And out of play to touch line over there. Just couldn't quite get that ball to bend a little bit. Maybe Calvert would have touched it and would have went in the back of the net. Tough to be able to do when you're this age. But sometimes they get the good strike. Into the 18-yard box for Mitchell Morrison. Trying to go further. Good defensive play by Ian Jacobo. Clearing it out. Going to be a throw in. Into the 18. La Jolla impact. Trying to get another touch. They couldn't. Up field. Shapiro. Nice ball up forward to Morrison. Morrison working with uh, Macwana. Macwana dribbles that ball in a nice step over. And he didn't fool anybody that time as Ryan Martinez was there, but they get it back. Trying to go up forward. Can't do it. As reducing the size of the field. Their high line is in the defensive half. This is Storm trying to work out of that defensive half. Lopez getting a touch. That ball is out of play off of the La Jolla impact player. Nil nil, still your score in this one. In the first half, the STS Cup 2012. La Jolla Impact getting a lot of touches, getting a lot of possession time in that defensive third. And that is always a thing that you do not want. But now they have to retreat back. As that high line can have you victimized if you're not careful. On the near side. With up church towards a box, but his teammate follows it up with a shot and try to get another strike. And a save is made by Strumloff. Well, they had a pretty good sequence that time, just not able to put it in the back of the net, considering how much possession time that they have had in the attacking third. Not a lot at all. Substitution. On the far side, La Jolla impact. You see the flag there. That's where the substitutions will come in from. Coming in is number eight, Trevor Ace. So Ace into the match. They get it into Hoffmeister. Luca trying to retrieve it but cannot. And went upfield. Navarro. Hoffmeister went off of one of the uh, all blue. Now the header by Shapiro. And down to central, they stiffen up. Upfield. Goes out of play. Throw in. La Jolla impact. That attacking third at ping pongs back and forth out of that. Attacking third, and now settled down. Hoffmeister has it. Does a good bit of dribbling into the 18, and then they dispossess him. And up the field. Jose Hernandez, you know, he keeps hustling. And even though he knocked it out of play, trying to get his teammates to keep the pressure on them. And out of Vista Storm will throw it in. Trying to do something towards the attacking third, but cannot. As the back line send it all the way upfield. Tyler Macwana. Macwana has it now. Sends it wide. Morrison with the soccer ball. Stops it. Collects it. Works with it. 
Sends it back upfield now. As they try to work back to Morrison, and that ball is out of play. And it's going to be a uh, goal kick. Substitution on the near side for the Vista Storm. And it looks like substitutions. They're going to get more than one player in. Mauricio Zarate, number 18, is into the match, along with Caleb Ramirez, number 15. And it looks like uh, Nicholas Nordstrom, number 11, is also in. The goal kick for Vista Storm. Intercepted. Shapiro, can it go any further? No. And now they're going to have to retreat back just a slightly. Midfield area, 50-50, and Vista Storm winning that one for Upchurch in the central, dispossessed there. And shot out of play in the near side. But if Vista Storm will keep it in the defensive half, La Jolla Impact knocked out as La Jolla wanting to protect in the space not able to control it after the throw in so Mitchell Morrison the throw in and a substitution will occur La Jolla impact gonna get the fresh player in and we'll see the number turns around and if we miss any substitutions, we will mention them as they touch that soccer ball on the pitch. Mac Wana. Poya Razuli, or uh, correction, Marco Molina just came in. Throw in for La Jolla Impact. Another substitution for the Impact. Trying to continue to make an impact in this match. Evan Brown is in number 41. Molina, a touch into the box. More La Jolla players over the top of frame. Tyler Shapiro for the with the drive that time. The goal kick. Missed the storm. Near side. The long ball sent forward. Zarate. On the near side, and then uh, now Upchurch, as they try to pursue it, need somebody to pinch in, but uh, Jacobo went by the soccer ball, and now they got to retreat back in their own defensive third. Vista Storm. Puya Razuli throwing. Strike quickly. They try to go upfield. Kept in their own defensive third now on the near side. It goes out of play. Jose Lopez will throw it in. Shapiro. After the intercept, Morrison has it. Morrison for his run on the near side. Almost lost the handle. Now he has it again. Trying to accelerate toward the box, but they won't allow him to. Good defense, but he gets a service, and it's interrupted. Now another chance toward the six-yard box, and that one will go past the goal line, and they'll get a corner kick out of it. The second one of the match for La Jolla Impact. Morrison now with the CK. Hoffmeister, and then a shot at a goal! Go, 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 go! Tyler Mack Wana puts it in the back of the net 
Intercontinental Championship match. And it's 1-0. A bevy of players in an 18-yard box, close to the six-yard box, and they were able to find the space and put it in the back of the net. Anthony Fernandez now into the match for Vista Storm. And now they have their work cut out for him, down one nil, still a lot of time. But in this championship match, if they want to get the big hardware or the championship medallion, they want to uh, work on trying to tie it up. But La Jolla Impact has spent a lot of time in a defensive third over the course of this first half. And here they are again with a free kick, their fourth one. Hoffmeister and knocked away and nearly almost put in the back of the net by a defender. Hoffmeister, a good strike. And now they get the opportunity for another corner kick. This is the third one for La Jolla Impact. The outswinger and it's in to the back of the net. A goal! Go, 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 But this La Jolla Impact Squad can put it in the back of the net. And the game's up to this one. They beat the Marietta Surf 4 0. And then the Vista Storm 5 0. And then Orange A Vote Ball in an uncharacteristic game for soccer 9 0. Vista Storm coming into this match, beating our. Uh, be beating Orange A Vote Ball 3 to 2. La Jolla, they lost again, of course, uh, 4 0. And then they beat the Marietta Surf 2 to 2. So they've already lost to this La Jolla Impact squad, and they lost 4 0 the last time they played them. Trying to change it around. Still plenty of time. But can they do it? Already down 2 0 here in the first half. Early ball. Driven upfield. Impact. Sending a long ball into the corner, and it's out of play. Jose Lopez getting that ball in quickly. And Lopez again will continue to work. As he gets it in, down to Central. Could be danger here. Trying to heel pass. That time was uh, Glon. Didn't work out as they defended well. And they play on. Anthony Fernandez winning that soccer ball. Driving into midfield and then now as it goes across midfield, they collect again. Send it down to right flank. Going after it is Ryler Upchurch. Upchurch now outside the box. Upchurch trying to get another strike. He can't, but his teammate does. And that goes right at the keeper, Strumloff, and he makes a save. And Alex driving it upfield. We got teammates there along that left flank. But it was intercepted by the Vista Storm out of play. But they'll be able to throw it in. In his 2-0 match out here in the East County, the STS Cup 2012. Hope you've been enjoying all the action from the community, big community park, the newest one out here in Santee. This is the fifth free kick for La Jolla Impact. Into the 18, and a save by Morgan Calvert. 
Nice save by this young lady. And that's a double whistle signifying the end of the first half. With a score, it's two on Tyler Macwana's two goals. The La Jolla Impact lead over Vista Storm. Stick with us. You'll see the action at halftime. Players paying attention to their coaches, and then we'll be right back with the exciting championship second half here in the STS Cup. Underway here in the second half. La Jolla Impact going from right to left and left to right of Vista Storm. And it's SDS Cup 2012 right here in Santee. Both goals scored by uh, Tyler Macwana in the first half. La Jolla Impact. Into the 18-yard box, they go again, and they spend a lot of time in an attacking third in the first half. But soccer can be a tale of two halves. Well, let's see if Vista Storm can make it just that way. They're going to need to in order to tie this up or take the lead. Lopez. Not able to find anybody. So Macwana will have a free kick for his team. For the 18 yard box, Glon. Glon takes a shot, that's wide a frame. Six free kicks for La Jolla. They had five in the first half. Still plenty of time for Vista. About 23 minutes or thereabouts. But got to spend more time on the other side of the field. And so far that is not happening, making it very, very, very tough. The Hoya Impact will throw it in outside their 18. And they get it into the 18 now. Quality opportunity and just went by a couple of players there. Missed the storm trying to work out of their own defensive third. Knocked out. Intercepted by Dorian Glon, but he couldn't keep it in. Near his side. As Upchurch tried to go down the right flank, wasn't able to do so. But now here's a ball sent in his way. And in that space, La Jolla Impact finding it. And winning that is Antonio Lopez. And Lopez on an early ball in a box. But Strumloff able to make the save. Working with it there, Maguana. 
And it goes out of play. The throw in with the ball with a geometric designs of the world's most famous sport, football. In most countries, soccer in this one. Because we already got another sport called football. Toward the attacking third, Makwana now intercepting it and into the box, but can't go any further. Down the right flank, and it's a giveaway that time. Or Dorian Glan. So in the defensive half of Vista Storm. La Jolla Impact throw it in. Goes out of play again and almost at the same spot will be the throw in Evan Brown to do the duties. They get a touch towards that 18. And it goes out of play. Cleared out again by Vista Storm. Right there. Protecting over there in the space was uh, Nordstrom. And then the save by Calvert. Macwana. Out of play. Stop ready to bounce. Take control. Vista having trouble with it on that uh, far side touchline, trying to go upfield. So La Jolla impact now in the 18-yard box. Go, Wanted to get another subsequent strike. Couldn't do it. Push, push. Let's go hard. Go hard. Oh, come on. A nice ball there. Sent into the AT. Try to continue on with it. It's gone. Now he has support. And it goes into the back of the net. A great play started by Mitchell Morrison. He was unmarked. He was able to find Navarro. And Navarro being unmarked took the shot. And even though it went off the defender, it's Aaron Navarro's goal. And it is 3-0. Fabulous play, and again, the Impact are getting most of the touches in this match. Now here's Juan Cueva. Cueva down to Central, and he's dispossessed there. 3-0, La Jolla. La Jolla driving it up to midfield. Nordstrom, and then now here's Macwana. In it over to Shapiro. To try to go forward, Macwana could not. Ace. Now here's Shapiro, finds Macwana with a defender on his back. And they'll get a free kick. They're both playing the same way, Ruff. We let Blue play, let White play the same. The free kick towards the 18 struck and quickly cleared out. This is Storm. Evan Brown worked it over to Sebring, who driving it up forward right outside the 18 with Maguana trying to make a move with that soccer ball, and it was blocked out of play. And that's going to be a corner kick, the fourth one. Omar Lopez comes in now for the Vista Storm. And I believe it's uh, Trevor Sebring is in now for La Jolla Impact. In his 3-0 match. 
The lights are on here at the park in Santee. Goal kick, Vista Storm. An intercept there by uh, Todorov. Up to Makwana. He finds it. Sends it right at Calvert and Morgan. Able to get to that soccer ball, no problem. And she drives it down to Central. Blocked there by Marco Molina. Makwana with a lot of time and space. Tries to play it wide, but it was intercepted. Now he tries to go after it, went down. Stays after it, drops it back. Tries to go get it, but that was intercepted in the space. But now here is Quentin Lowe sending it up forward and a whistle. It's going to work against uh, Vista Storm. And the eighth free kick of this match. La Jolla impact. Into the 18. Cleared out from the central. Tyler Makwana throws it in. Over the head of Trevor Ace. That Ace chases it down, won't get to it. Makwana has it. His diagonal pass doesn't arrive to its intended target, but they are able to get it. At... Nevertheless, Marco Molina. Molina and a shot to Navarro. Navarro pass and Morgan Calver coming off her line. And that's a tough play. And Morgan looks like she's going to stay in here. Always a tough play for a keeper when you got this striker coming at you. Showing that she's a tough young lady. And able to play keeper. Up church now. Up church. Goes out wide now to Zarate. And it goes right towards the keeper, Strumloff. And Alex doesn't have much of a problem with that one. Sends it upfield, but they want to try to get more pressure on Alex. If to have any opportunity in this championship match of being able to tie it up. And they're going to have to start putting them in the back of the net quickly. Jacobo for Vista Storm is in, number two, along with Jose Hernandez, number 16. Cross midfield, intercepted. And the all blue will continue forward with Marco Molina. Molina trying to weave his way. Molina under a lot of pressure, but it winds onto the foot of Todorov. And it can't go any further with it, but Todorov now finds it. Todorov in a box, makes one move, goes down. And is that going to be a foul in the box? If it is, it's a penalty shot. And that's exactly what it's going to be. Let's see who's going to take the penalty shot. Always the advantage. It looks like it's going to be Alex Strumloff. Will it be a keeper? First time we have seen this, at least at this age bracket. Strombloff will approach it and puts it. No, he does not. It's a post, a save by Calvert. Oh, they had two shots on Morgan Calvert. One of them hit the post, and the other one she made the save on. All the way down the field, and Alex Strumloff had to race all the way back to his keeper position, 
and they just couldn't get it down the field. Otherwise, they had a golden opportunity to get their first goal of the game. But it was Calvert on that last sequence who made the second save, and they thought they had another score in the back of the net. So instead, it stays three to nil. But here comes Macwana. And Macwana now cuts it inside. The service interrupted there. But they have another chance. And another one now going after it is Morrison into the box. And on the near side, a Vista Storm stiffening up there. And a throw in by Mitchell Morrison. The near side and going after it is uh, Addison Sorrells. And Sorrells was able to knock it off the attacker. Into the 18. As they continue on for another opportunity. And it goes over to Calvert and she's able to get to it. Gave up a little bit of a rebound, but nobody was going to try to follow it up. La Jolla Impact now. Sending the ball forward. And Calvert comes off her line. Oh, that makes a save. And she sees Trevor Ace coming right at her. Morgan Calvert has played well in this game as keeper. Keeping him with a chance. Still down by three goals. Made some crucial saves, though. Had some help by the post on a penalty shot. On a move to the near side. Can he keep it in? He cannot. And so Vista Storm will throw it in. Juan Cueva. A field. Driven towards the 18 yard box. And coming way off his line is Alex Strumloff. Strumloff getting real active here as he <laughs> says, I want to get into the action. And he took that shot. And one of those things is almost like the soccer gods didn't allow him to have the opportunity to score on a penalty kick because you never see keepers having that opportunity to do so. Coming in now, Jose Lopez, Ryler Upchurch, along with Antonio Lopez. They want to try to put some more pressure on the All Blue, and they're going to need to do that as this game is winding down. Morrison showing his uh, determination. And he comes back in and gets to the soccer ball now. Still going after it, could not get to it. Here's Upchurch now. Upchurch on the near side. Upchurch driving it toward the 18. And not playing around as Strumloff as he gets to the soccer ball. Driving it upfield. The header. Going wide out to Ace as they went to the 18-yard box, and it goes out of play. And Ace was looking for a call, but he was not going to get one. La Jolla Impact now going to get a fresh player into the match as Dorian Glan comes off. And number seven, Luca Hoffmeister is into the match. That ball sent into the 18-yard box or past the goal line. Tough for me to see here, but easy for you from the stadium view camera there. And as you see, the, they ended up with the goal kick, but now right back into their 18. Can't go any further. Upfield. Antonio Lopez, up church, and it was blocked into space nicely by Trevor Sebring. Jose Lopez throws it in. 
finds a player in the space. And they go out wide to Upchurch. Upchurch weaving his way toward the central. Upchurch still on the ball. Upchurch for a chance. And it winds over to Stromloff. But his defender was able to help him that time. Was Alex's. Helping on that play. Backdoor! Anthony, Anthony! Backdoor! Back up the field into the 18. Calvert didn't get all of that. And so Storm, the Vista Storm now will chase it down. It goes out of play on the near side, but they'll throw it in. Calvert almost made a miscue well, that would have cost her team an extra goal to be down. And when you're down 4 0, it's extremely hard, but she makes a save there as it goes past the goal line. They'll get a corner kick, and that is the fifth corner kick that La Jolla Impact will have in this match. And Morgan Calvert showing that she is really good with her hands and maybe might just want to stick with that instead of trying to kick it out. And they try to head it over towards Calvert and she's able to make the save. Didn't know if it was going to be harder or higher, but showing her uh, presence of mind and quickness to be able to get her hands on it nevertheless on that last sequence. Mitchell Morrison throws it in, into a corner, into some space, looking for Hoffmeister to run over into that space. For his teammate, Navarro, who's already scored one of the goals. Up church. Back into the defensive half, and they've got the high line, and Brown drives it all the way back to his keeper, Strumloff. Upchurch pursues it, upfield. Upchurch just couldn't bring it down that time as it was sent right by him. And Strumloff slingshots that ball upfield. Knocked out of play. Nohoya's Ian Jacobo who got it in. And now he has to chase it down. Jacobo now finds it. But he can't control it. Out of play. Vista Storm. The far side touchline. The light's taking more of an effect as that sun about ready to go down completely. Into the 18-yard box. And Alex Strumloff will get to it. And out here on the East County, when the sun goes down, even still this being May, it gets kind of cool. It goes out of play. La Jolla impact as the time running down in this match, leading 3-0, which is a rather comfortable lead. But can this the storm find a way to put it in the back of the net and change a little bit of that? Upchurch is trying to do just that as he chases it down, but he runs by it. It's kept in. All right, went out of play to throw in. Maybe a couple of minutes left to go in a match. Center ref says, hold on. It's going to be a free kick. For Vista, hard to believe that's only their first free kick of the match. Toward the 18 yard box, can't go any further. As Jose Hernandez going after it, and now he's got Nicholas Nordstrom into the 18. It goes by Upchurch, but now they get a shot anyway, and a goal! Go, 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 Antonio Lopez finds the corner of the net 
it. And it is three to one. And I just mentioned, in order to have any kind of chance, they got to start putting him in the back of the net. Not a lot of time left. But can they do a rapid fire, get two more goals, and tie it up? Or is this one out of reach with very little time left in the match? Strumloff went backwards to try to get to that. And he is trying to stretch it out. And he is going to come out of this match. And it looks like number 11, Keenan Dogan, will finish it out. And that's exactly what's going to happen. So Keenan Dogan is coming in to play keeper. No shutout. I'm okay with that. And so the Vista Storm, who shut out, or were shut out by the La Jolla Impact 4-0 will not be shut out in the championship match. And that's a little bit of a measure of satisfaction. And you don't get shut out twice in the same tournament. The SCS Cup 2012. Keenan Dogan going to play between the two pipes. Hoffmeister out wide, gets a return pass. Hoffmeister now down to central. And a whistle, and that's going to work against Vista. And it'll be a free kick. Nine free kicks in this match. It's shown you what they've been able to do in and around the pitch. A pie and a save by Morgan Calvert, and she was able to hold on to the rebound as the striker came right at her. Downfield. Fernandez. Jose Lopez. Midfield trying to go forward. Lopez now. Interrupted from going into the attacking third. Upchurch settles it down. Out wide. And kept in. Nicely done that time by Fernandez. After it is Lopez. Fernandez now. Just outside the box. Fernandez being marked heavily. Center ref looking at his watch. Trying to get to the soccer ball. Sit upfield into the box, but pass the frame, and that's the end of the championship match. La Jolla Impact winning three to one over the Vista Storm. Hopefully you've enjoyed all of this action here in the STS Cup 2012. Stick with us. There'll be the interviews, the championship hardware, and the closing comments upcoming.
Okay, thank you, Lord. Congratulations, congratulations. Thank you, Vista. Thank you, guys. Greg G.K. Porter back here of the STS Cup, and the team who was the finalist, the Vista Storm, and they're going to say a few words about enjoyment in this tournament, and they're going to give you, of course, their name and everything else. Go ahead. Um, Addison, um, the cup was fun, but we lost. <laughs> no fun. <laughs> I'm Jose. The cup was really fun. It was bad that we lost, but it happens. My name is Ryan Martinez. Um, I play right mid. The cup was really hard. It's for the Hoyo was a really good opponent for us to train with to get better. My name is Lars. I play sweeper, center defender, and I thought it was a really fun cup. And uh, that I'm glad we came in second. My name is Antonio Lopez, and I play center mid, and I and I had fun playing this cup. I am Anthony Fernandez, and I play right mid, and the, it was fun. My name is Juan Cueva. I play in the middle and mid. This tournament was fun. We'll get it next time. My name is Riley Robchurch. I'm a forward striker. The tournament was fun, but at the end, we lost, and it was fun. My name is Jose Hernandez. Um, I'm forward, and I didn't think we were gonna win in, like first tournament, but we got so far to the semifinals. It's amazing. Hello, my name is Mauricio Sarate, and I'm forward striker. And the tournament was fun. Nicholas Nordstrom, uh, right or left mid. It was a fun tournament. We we did what we could. We got second. I'm Omar Lopez. Uh, Number 17, I play defense. I thought the tournament was pretty hard, but then it got a lot more difficult at the end. I'm Puya Rasuli, and I had fun. Um, Phil, okay. <laughs> Morgan Calvert, keeper. Um, I think that the tournament was pretty fun, that we should do it again uh, another time and try harder this time. Thank you, Morgan. Greg G.K. Porter back here with the champions of the STS Cup 2012, the La Jolla Impact. And they're going to say their names. They're going to say a little bit about uh, how much fun they had winning the championship in this tournament. Um, my name is Dorian Lon, and I'm French. I, <laughs> it was awesome. Our coach is awesome. Um, it was really cool. And I love soccer. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Luca Hoffmeister, and this was really fun. And Coach Josh is awesome. <laughs> Hi, I'm Donovan Todorov, and I, <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> and co Coach is awesome, and our whole team is awesome. <laughs> Bye. Uh, hey, my name is Kenneth Dogan. I'm a holding midfielder. So uh, last season we didn't really win any tournaments, but <laughs> our new coach Josh has won a coached us, and now we won a tournament. We had a lot of fun, and it's a fresh new season now. So that's it. I'm Mitchell Morrison, and I wanted to say thanks to all my homies out there and Coach Josh. I play center mid and attacking mid and i want to say thank you to everyone thanks hi i'm trevor ace um i play right forward and i'm really happy about the game we played today we pushed hard and then we won the tournament so that's what i'm happy everybody played great okay thanks my name is jorge navarro i'm a right forward and i love this chance and our, we we didn't stop fighting until we had that trophy in our hands thank you so, I'm, I'm Tyler McQuanna, and I play at attacking mid, uh, and this was an amazing tournament. Uh, I'm Trevor. I, I play anywhere defense, and I had a great time. I used to be on impact a couple years ago, and now I'm back, and I'm ready to play. 
Hi, I'm Quinton Lowe, and I play the back right wing. And I just want to say thanks for Coach Josh for helping me get to this level of play. Hi, my name is Tyler Shapiro, and first of all, I'd like to thank the economy. And my position is uh, center midfield, and going back. My name is Marco Molina. I play center mid, and I got stuck at this one level on Charter 3 today. Hi, I'm Evan Brown. I play defense, and I love pie. And uh, I had really fun in this tournament with the new players and our new coach. Thanks. Hi, my name is Alex. I play keep. Um, our team did well. Um, the coach um, taught us well, and the other team played very well. And we fought to the last minute to win. Go Impact. The scores in the game, uh, Tyler Macwana had two goals along with Aaron Navarro for La Jolla Impact and one goal for Antonio Lopez late in the game. A penalty shot was missed by La Jolla Impact. Otherwise, they'd have had another goal in the game. Final score, it was 3-1. to one. La Jolla Impact winning the championship of the SDS Cup 2012 here on Memorial Day weekend. And we hope that you enjoyed all of the action. For George Langevin, behind the video camera, I'm Greg G.K. Porter. Think, take care of yourself as always. God bless, and remember to save this one on your hard drive. Bye now.